Hey, this is Lee Balkum. Got another question. Uh, and I'm going to boil it down, right? This person wrote me, and by the way, if you'd like to submit a question, you can send it to YouTube at SaveTheMarriage.com. That's YouTube at SaveTheMarriage.com. Simple email. Um, and, and so the question here is, we have communication problems. Can you teach me to communicate better? I think that will fix the marriage. Let me just put that over here and tell you that that communication myth has outlived itself in our culture because it misses the point. And, and let me tell you what that communication myth is. It is that marriages get into trouble because couples can't communicate. I think this is one of the myths that has driven lots of couples therapy. So lots of couples therapy has theories of why things happen, but when it gets right down to it, most of the time what therapists are doing is saying, let's work on your communication. I'll teach you um, I statements and, and empathy statements and things like that. And um, let me just tell you my experience with that. It doesn't help much. In fact, when I have people and they've come into my office fully knowing that I don't believe that myth and they'll say, help us communicate better. Are there skills of communication? Absolutely there are. Just like there are skills for everything, absolutely there are skills for better communication. But that's not the problem. I'll tell you kind of what I mean here. So I had a couple, this is um, a while back, and they were sitting in my office on my couch. Yeah, I know, right? Therapist office, coach's office, stereotypical couch sitting there. But these two could not have more been more further apart on my couch. I mean, they were like, oof, and oof, hugging those sides of the couch, just glued to the sides of the couch. And that was their thing. Teach us to communicate better. I'm looking at them going, you could not be more disconnected in this process if you tried. But they were there and they were saying, you know, we heard somewhere that we don't communicate correctly and that's our problem. And so teach us to, to have better communication skills. And I said, okay, well, let's talk about this. So each of them talked for a while, probably been 20, 25 minutes. Now, what I noticed is as they talked about their situation, they went from here to kind of here and finally at least a little bit closer together. First clue of the fact that we were just hinting at some things was there. So as they talked, I said, you know, you've told me that you have communication issues, communication problems, and you want to have better communication skills. But this whole time you've been talking, I have understood every single word you've said. Every single word you've said. You've, you've communicated yourselves very well. Communication is not your problem. So if I teach you to communicate better, all I'm going to be doing is handing you the tools to fight more effectively, to argue more effectively, because that's what's going on between you. Every communication is through this. And so they're like, well, we've heard about the I statements. If you're not familiar with an I statement, an I statement is instead of saying, you're a jerk, to say, I feel like you're a jerk. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm making fun of it there. It's really to say, you know, you're a horrible person or whatever it is to say, when you do this certain thing, it makes me feel hurt and that makes me react badly. Now, is there a place for an I statement? Yes. That is a skill of communication. Part of it is a skill of taking responsibility. This is how it's making me feel, right? The problem is when you give that tool to a couple that is disconnected, when they uh, are using the I feels, they shortcut in their brain and hear you are. So I feel becomes you are anyway because they haven't solved the underlying issue. Communication is a skill you can learn. It will not fix a hurting marriage. So what is the problem? Disconnection. If you saw my prior video about the pause button marriage and how disconnection is at the root of it, that's why it's not about communication. Now, let me be clear. Couples who are disconnected do not communicate well together. But when you fix the connection, communication often gets uh, to a better place almost instantly. And if not, then the tools of communication will help you build that connection more deeply.
but you got to get back to the connection. Otherwise, the communication is only to tell someone how bad they are. I always talk about communication as really being uh, more like pipes, plumbing in a house, right? So you have plumbing in your house to do two things. Get bad stuff out of your house and bring good stuff in. That's it. You know, bring in good water, get out the bad stuff, right? Now, that's great if you got it hooked up right if you, and you're getting clean water, but what if you cross it up? And so what you're bringing in your house is bad stuff, right? What if you, you're not getting in the clean stuff? Well, then the pipes, the better you build them, the more effectively they bring in the crap, but not anything else. And so what we're not looking at is how to make it effective, how to make it work, not how to do it. So for this, it's not about communicating better. We can get those skills. That's super easy to teach communication skills once a couple is connected. But you got to work on connection. Now, you can't ignore communication. That's just not the core problem. Core problem, connection, solution, Let's work on the connection. There are some other pieces of that puzzle. If you want to learn more about that, come check it out at savethemarriage.com. That's savethemarriage.com. This is Lee Balkum wishing you the best as you work to save your marriage.